first live video gonna try to do one or two a month so text your questions email your questions in reflecting on 2017 and kind of going through all the emotions our sellers have and I try to bottle it into a quick little video for you guys but basically I've narrowed it down to nine emotions sellers face when selling their house and the more that us as agents can understand their emotions the more we can accommodate and try to you know make it a better process for them. Uh, the first emotion is definitely excitement. They're super excited, they call me or they call their agent and they sign with them and they're just excited. They're gonna sell their house, they're gonna buy their dream house, everything's gonna be perfect, they're, they're very, very excited. The second emotion is definitely overwhelmed. We give them suggestions of what they should do to their house, it's always their option, but then they feel overwhelmed like the, you know, they have a thousand pound weight on their shoulders and that's what we're here to help with but they feel overwhelmed they have so much to do with so little time and is it all going to work out is is their thoughts um after after that it's definitely prideful the house is looking beautiful we're ready to go on the market everything looks perfect they're like i don't know if we want to sell it now and we're like no you said you were going to sell it and they're like wow we could have done this years ago but we never did so I think prideful is definitely the third emotion. The fourth emotion, without question, is, is anxious, anxiety. They are thinking, what if no one wants our house? Did we price it right? You know, what if we can't find what we want? The, the uncertainty, the anxiety starts building up. Um, number five is definitely elated, euphoric. Um, we got the signed offer on their house. The rider went from available on top of the sign out front to pending. Um, everything's fallen into place. They're now picturing themselves in their next house and they are elated. The sixth is definitely worry. They call me or they call their agent, Matt, oh my gosh, what if it doesn't appraise? What if the house doesn't inspect? You know, what if the inspection comes back wrong? What if, what if? You know, worrying is kind of like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but you never go anywhere. So uh, worry is without question the sixth emotion. The second, seventh emotion is relief. We are past the inspection, we're past the appraisal, we're, we're going for home a home home base and um, the worry is gone and they're definitely relieved. The eighth emotion is reflection. They're going through all the pictures. You know, they have a lot of emotions and memories that are tied to that property. You know, first time their kid might have walked, birthdays, um, all their great emotions and memories they've had, they're now reflecting. So the eighth, the eighth emotion is definitely reflection and the ninth emotion is joy. The house is closed, they signed their house is, their, their old house is in the rear view mirror and their brand new dream home or their home they're moving to, whether they're downsizing or getting more space or a different location, they're now getting the keys, they're moving in, they are so joyful and that's definitely the ninth emotion. I think as us as agents, we gotta do a good job of understanding, being sympathetic, um, being there for them, taking the overwhelming fear off them and helping them, you know, get the best deal and put them in the best situation for their family. But um, that's my reflection for 2017 with the seller's emotions. Uh, feel free to email us or text message us questions and we'll do another video cast. All right, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's.